What's going on YouTube? Gravesinder here and welcome back for another tutorial on how to build a trumpet interchange. I've done quite a few of these through my current and previous cities and in, uh, in my last Let's Play I actually built one and uh, some of you guys have asked for a tutorial on how to build one so I've decided to make one for you guys. Again thank you so much for watching my videos Subscribe if you feel that the content is useful and give the video a like if you end up liking the interchange itself. Let's begin. Well, all right, then let's go ahead and get into the tutorial itself. Um, I'll be honest with you guys before we start. I did, as you can see, flatten out the land simply to uh, to make the trumpet interchange a nice and level interchange and I do that with pretty much every single one of my interchanges I build it on flatland that way there's no um, um, unevenness if you will so let's go ahead and start and as you guys know my tutorials start with a simple block or, or two lines or whatever you want to call it so the important thing to, um, to remember is if you go into your snapping options Everything is enabled and the elevation step is on three. So this one right here, that's on three. So let's go ahead and we'll start with a rectangle. I'm kind of going to pick the center in between or the center of this um, leveled out land. So let's just do this. So we're going to go, we're going to go for 1.2 blocks. So let's say just like so. That you guys kind of sort of even with the pre-existing highway connections and then what we're going to do is we're going to go out by 360 and just like so there's a reason that i went out by 360 and i will tell you guys that reason in just a little while next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go out all the way by one and lower it down and then we're just going to draw a line straight across. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to come from one or actually both sides. So you're going to want to leave three blocks to the left. So you see when I'm drawing this road, I'll just go ahead and extend it all the way out this way. So you see how we have, maybe I should do that a little bit, uh, <laughs> explain it maybe a little bit better. So here, you have oh, well this node is here already pre-drawn but count from uh from the left of the uh, the blue line here so you have three squares right so that's what you, that's where you want to be you want to have three squares left we're going to do the same exact size say um think on this side and that's going to leave you with three squares on this side in a sense and uh, just two in the middle then what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the excess um, roads. Next, we're going to go ahead and select our curved road. We're going to go into our snapping options and we're going to put this on the lowest elevation step. So there's three of them. You start out with the highest one and you go down to the lowest one. So curve the road. We're going to go out by half a unit and then another half and we're going to raise it up by one. So just push on your D-pad up one time. Then we're going to go out by another half unit. And we're going to go up one more time. And then we're going to go up by another half unit. And up one more time. So that gives you kind of a outline of the inside of the trumpet. Then what we're going to do is we're going to pick our straight road. We're going to go out to meet with this pillar here. And we're going to go out by or up by one. So remember one. So that's a total of four times they went up. One here, one here, one here, and one when you went and extended this all the way out this way. Now for the next step, what we're going to do is we're going to select our curved road. We're going to go out 
all the way to one full block but then we're gonna go one back in so a total of nine and then we're gonna meet with this node right here as you can see that's it, it gives us that perfect um perfect hug to the uh to the inside of the trumpet then we're gonna do the same thing over here on this side so nine and then we're gonna meet with this node but here we're gonna go up by one so you see how how it starts raising right over here and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come out to meet with this node here and we're gonna stop just there and we're gonna go out by half and we're gonna go up by another one and then here we're gonna go out by half and up by another one so that gives you that nice little slope on this side as well all right now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna come out to this side of the highway we're gonna go out to I don't know let's just say let's just say three three on that side we're gonna come out by three on this side as well over by 360 go in there same thing over here we're gonna go over by 360 and come back out this way right at this point you can delete that and that and you guys can kind of see where this is going right so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna select our curved road we're gonna come to right about there so not right about, but exactly there. So you see where it's kind of meeting this inside blue line. And then we're gonna come out to this node right here. And then on this side, we're gonna do the same thing, actually. Scratch that. So over here, instead of going, uh, going three this way, we're gonna go four. We're gonna go four out this way, just so we can allow for that uh, even smoother on uh, on ramp there so let's do the same thing here so again to the inside of the blue line and voila there is a beautiful start to your trumpet interchange there so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and we're also gonna allow Let's extend this out by another unit, just like so. So you see how you have three uh, three blocks right here in in between. So that's that's where you want to be, because you also have three blocks on the other side of the highway. And symmetry to me is a little bit uh, a little bit important, right? Um, next, what we're going to do is we're going to delete this and this. We're going to go back to our curved road. And then what we're going to do, so with, um, with whatchamacallit, the road guidelines enabled, we're going to come out to right about, so let's say, what is this? One, two, three, four five so just outside of the four squares we're gonna match up with this node right here and we're gonna make kind of like a perfect half circle in a sense or a quarter of a circle we're gonna do the same exact same thing on this side so meet up with that node perfect half circle and there you have it from here, we're gonna go out by. So we're gonna go out by 1.2, and we're gonna go up by three. Same thing on this side, out by 1.2. Right there, and one, two, and three. And then next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna same thing. Meet up with the inside of the half. Uh, or the, the inside circle there. You're gonna hook it up to that. And then over here, should match up just perfectly right there. 
So there you have your off ramp, your on ramp, your off ramp, and your on ramp. Next, what we're going to do is let's just say, for example, we're going to go out to buy two from here, right? We're going to come out to the on ramp and then we're going to go back to that inside circle and you can drag it all the way down to meet with the two. If you want it to be shorter, you are welcome to do so. At this point, we're going to get rid of that. And there you have the trumpet interchange highway connection. Now, all that's left to do is upgrade the roads to what they're supposed to be. So I don't know if I mentioned it in the, uh, the beginning of the video, but you do want to have that 360 part there. Pretty sure I mentioned it, but in any case, you get this really nice little gap. Gotta get rid of that and there we go. So you get this perfect little gap in between the highway when you're using the uh, the three lane highway. So let's go ahead and we'll upgrade the rest of the highway itself. And there we go, now that's done. Let's go ahead and do the on ramps as well and what i'll do is i'll just upgrade all of them and i'll meet you guys back in just a moment okay so there we have the completed trumpet interchange there's a couple of tweaks that i want to do and i'm going to show you guys what those are so we're going to grab our two lane highway and we're going to upgrade the road from there and also the road from there. Now, if you want to, if you wish, you can make this uh, little curve a little bit smoother. I prefer it this way. It just, it looks a little bit more symmetrical in a sense. And um, I'm gonna leave it this way, but you, you can do whatever you please. So that's the only the actual change that I, that I wanted to make. Now, all we have left to do is to hook up to the highways and I'm just gonna do this kind of sloppy, but this way we will test this interchange out, just so you guys can see how it works. And if it's something that you would like to have in your city. Um, that is everything. I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the game, let the traffic kind of catch up with um, the time, in a sense. And um, I'll be back in just a moment. All right, guys, well, there you have it. A functional trumpet interchange with just uh, a little bit of the core that I threw together. 
So it works. As far as uh, handling a large amount of volume, I would say it could handle medium to large. Um, it's not definitely, uh, it's definitely not built to handle tons and tons of, uh, of volume. Like as you can see, what I've done here is I just, I took a couple of connections from the highways. I actually combined three highways together. And, um, and this is kind of how it's performing right now. What you can expect is at times a backup or two over here on on this side. Uh, aside from that, that's uh, that's pretty much the only backup that you can expect on this interchange. Um, if you guys want to see a really high volume interchange, you should check out my monster interchange video. I'll put a, a link in the description as well as in the little I button uh, or tab that's gonna pop up in, in this video. But hopefully you guys like it as always and be the best that you can be in everything that you do. And I'll see you guys, well, for one, back on my Let's Play and uh, two on another tutorial video. Thanks again.